I got some hydraulics in the shop here. So these belong to Fernando. It's off of one of his tractors there. I've showed a couple like this. I, I believe this is gonna be just like the one that I've already showed on the channel. And then we've got two more right here that's probably off the same uh, piece of equipment. And he said they just blow to seal. So they're, they're leaking right here around the gland. So most likely is a, a rod, the rod seal is bad. I can also see the wiper is bad because it's pushed out of the gland right there. So it, it could be that in a combination of O-ring here, but it's usually the rod gland. Just um, failure due to uh, age and, and wear related. Probably gonna be the same, same thing with this. So we're gonna pull these things apart so that I can get the seal sized up. We're using my adjustable face spanner wrench right here to remove the gland and um, I'll show you guys how to get these things apart. All right, hopefully this is gonna be easy like the last ones. Oh yeah. And pull that rod out a little bit. pull it out too far in case there's a bunch of oil in there and go shooting out the fitting. I got a bucket underneath this right here so once we pull the gland hopefully all the oil will fall into the bucket here. There it is, full of oil. I got a piece of cardboard down here too to help collect those drips that's coming out. tight on that end right there where that fitting's welded on. All right, there it is. Yeah, we've got another PTFE seal. Thing's gonna be tight just like the last one. Got an inch and a half, inch and a half socket. Some extra leverage. o-ring had that thing stuck so there's a the o-ring there is what seals the oil from creeping underneath through the bore of the piston there all right and then this is going to be our main issue that we're dealing with all right can you see inside there black ring in the middle there is that's your rod seal there's an area of it that's completely missing deterioration probably age related failure as well as the wiper wipers gone too just disintegrated all right so that's the problem right there usually whenever you have oil leaking through the rod gland here that's what the issue is is the rod seal itself All right, this one I just got kind of clamped in the, the vise right here. This is a trunnion mounted hydraulic cylinder. So it looks like there's some pins that go in this area right here and it rotates.
catch that one in time. Go get some pit in that. Luckily, I didn't. I didn't get it on the concrete. It splashed on the cardboard. That's why it's good to have some of this kind of stuff around. You see, I'm just about out. Time to pick up another roll. That'll soak up some oil there on that cardboard. Pull this one out. There you see, it ain't too bad. So I got some pig mats so that I can kind of soak up any of the splashing where it splashed off of the cardboard there. All right, we got the same issues with these as well. They're completely flattened out and they're deteriorating. You can see the wipers already going right there. It's coming out, but I can see it all breaking apart inside there. Well, I'm gonna start getting the seals out of these things. This was the third gland there. You didn't see me take apart. It was actually in the best shape. Besides the wiper starting to uh, come out of there. All right, there's the wiper. Let's see if I can get that seal out of there. Uh-huh, loaded seal. And you see how it broke apart. <clears throat> this was because of me jamming this uh, screwdriver in there, but it's already deteriorating because a good seal is not gonna just fall apart like that. <clears throat> but this is what you'd call a loaded seal. It's got an O-ring in the face between the two lips, and it helps keep those lips energized, you know, pressing outward to each side. So there's that one there. And then of course you got your, you got your gland seal right here. This is what seals the the tube, the oil from coming across this direction right here and coming out where your threads are. So you have an O-ring and then this is a backup right here. I'm just gonna leave the backup on there. Those are usually okay. I'll, I'll get a backup, but there's really no point in taking that off right now. Backups are the same size as an O-ring other than having a, a 575 designation in front of it either a 574 or 575 dash whatever your o-ring size is all right wiper seal all right we got one more to do i believe these are all going to be the same size. I have not measured the very first time anything on these. Let's see what size rod we got. Inch and a half. Okay, inch and a quarter, inch and a half. So they are different, different sizes. I, I wasn't even, wasn't even paying attention to that. I was just trying to get the things apart. backup moving on to the the piston seal so this is a what you call a PTFE seals and this was the same type that we dealt with before on the, the last cylinder rebuilds so you have an o-ring that goes in the bottom first that it, that keeps it expanded and then you have this is the actual seal right right there at PTF PTFE seal so this is a dual action seal it'll seal both directions of pressure right there this is my least favorite type of seal 
they work good. They do exactly what they're engineered to do, but they're just hard to install and remove. So if you're going to remove them, you might as well just, I mean, make it your life easy and just kind of break them to uh, get them out of there because you're going to be replacing it anyway. And I'll go off of the measurement of the groove to find out what the proper seal is. All right. So we'll do the same thing with this one here. So I want to measure what the groove diameter inside there for the uh, for the rod, well for the rod and the uh, the wiper, rod seal and wiper. I'm going to use these these groove mics. These are the Aventor calipers that were given to be by Shars. So these are for the internal. Now I was going to point out this. I'm going to show you before I start there. With these fully collapsed, the tips of them are ground to be at 30 millimeters. All right. I'll, I'll show you right here. See, 30, 30 millimeters. So whatever your measurement is, or whatever you measure, whatever you see on here, all you got to do is just add 30 millimeters, which was I think 1.182 inches for uh, the inch readers. Yeah, 1.182. So. What I want to do is reach in here and measure what that groove diameter is. All right, so it's about, let's just call it 0.445 inches. So we'll go 1.182 plus 0.445 equals 1.627. All right, so that's a 1 and 5 eighths. OD, so we got an inch and a quarter by one and five eighths. And then we still got to measure what the uh, width of it is there, the height of the steel. Let's go ahead and measure this one right here. So we'll start with 1.182, and then we'll measure it with our calipers right here. And these are not going to work right here. Now that's one of the downfalls of this this particular caliper is that they don't provide quite enough height right there for each one of those legs to go into the deeper groove so you're limited now we'll be able to measure the the wiper diameter right here it looks like it's going to be 0.687 right there plus 0.687 that's going to be a 1 and 7 eighths OD on the wiper. So let's see, we're going to do wiper and 1 and 1 half by 1 and 7 eighths for that one right there. But we'll use some spring calipers to get in there and measure that. Let's go ahead and go back to the uh, this gland here, the smaller one. So this is for the inch and a quarter rod. All right, so we're getting uh, 7 sixteenths. Let's put plus 0.437. It's 1 and 5 eighths. <clears throat> so we'll just use these spring calipers right here. These are some Miller's Falls inside spring calipers. Want to try to get a feel to where it's just touching. And get it, you get it really close, you'll know what you're, these are all on a nominal size. So if you measure this being very close, that's what your size is going to be. So two inches, see there, I measured that with the, with the spring calipers, two inches, three thousandths. So that's going to be a three, or I'm sorry, a two inch. OD seal. So I'm now I'm measuring the the seal groove for the the piston seal. I'm, I'm getting my measurements. We got a two and a half and a three inch piston. I've already measured the width of it, and they're measuring around 128. So it's a one eighth wide uh, groove. 
And then now I've got the other, the other calipers for measuring OD grooves, the uh, Aventor. So we're going to use these, and these are pretty easy. You can just zero those out. And what I want to measure is that groove depth, and these will just fit in there. And see, what I'm doing is I'm getting my measurement so that I can pull my book out, and then instead of having to measure it and then look in the book, I can just look in the book and go to my, my notes right there. So that's looking like, what does that say? Six inches, um, not six inches, two, 2.606, and that's for the three inch, 2.606. All right, and let's check the two and a half inch piston. Looks like 2.106 for that one. All right, so we open her up to the PS1400 PTFE seals. So you look down here at your board diameter. We're going to start with a two and a half inch. So there's two and a half right there. All right, and you come across, let me find the scale right there. Two and a half, all right, it's saying that our groove width is 129, and I was measuring it with the calipers around 20, 128, so I know that that's right. Groove diameter, I measured it at uh, 2.106, and that's saying 2.108. So I know that that is the seal that I need right there. So that is a PS1400-40. Write that down right here. PS1400-40. Yep, I'm going to look at it again right there. Two and a half. PS1400-40. That's your part numbers on that side. All right, so three-inch piston. Let's see if it's the same for that. All right, three-inch, 129, same groove width. 2.606 is what I measured, 2.608. That's it right there. All right, so that's going to be PS1400-48. All right, those, there's our piston seals. So that worked out pretty good because I... I believe the last time I, I modified the pistons to accept a PS2700 seal, I couldn't find one of these in the in the right size. All right, I forgot that uh, we need to measure the width, <clears throat> the width of the groove. I'm going to use our Starrett groove mic right here. This is a Starrett number 260. In case you're wondering, it's got the two discs down there. And this is the perfect tool to get in there and measure lands and groove widths. And what I like to do for quick measurement, all you do for the inside like that, or measuring a groove width is you add 50 thousandths. That's each one of these discs are 25 thousandths. So you just add 50, but I just do this for quick reference right there. So it looks like to be about 351. All right, and that's plus or minus a couple thousand. So let's go um, by point three fifty one for the inch and a quarter seal. All right, let's do that same thing for the inch and a half. This one's going to be a little bit wider here. All right, let's just call it. 420 by 0.420. That's going to be the width right there. All right, you can do the same thing for the wiper. Call it 217. This just makes it so much easier when you're trying to find the, the seal. I think that's going to be the same thing. Yeah, it's going to be the same width right there. Yeah, we'll call it 217. Okay, so there's our uh, seal. This is the rod seal. And what it is is a style 850 polyurethane U seal. And what you do is I just come right over here 
Uh, we don't want fluorocarbon. That would be for high, high temps. Um, it's a P seal or a PEU seal, okay? It's got the rubber expander in the center of it. So we're going to go to page 105, and that's where it starts. And what I did, I just took, I just took my measurements. I'm already getting oil in the book there. And so I go down, I find the rod, find the rod size, inch and a quarter. Come over there, one and five eighths. That's what we measured the OD at, and then we measured the groove width at 351. So this fourth column right here gives a of groove width of uh, 343. So that's going to have a height of a 516 seal. So that's the one that we want right there. And I'm going to write that part number down. All right, we flip to the next page right there. And I found the one I need inch and a half by two by three eighths height. So I measured the groove being uh, 420 thousandths. It's got groove width 413. So that's going to work right there. And so that's going to be our part number. By the way, I'm going with the B designation on the end of the parts there. And you have, you have a B, you have a D. And I'll show you at the beginning right here. All right. So you have type B which is like beveled there. Then you have a sharp V on the end. That's, that'll be a D designation. And I just, I like the type B better. It's gonna be the same seal, give you the same performance, a little bit easier to work with. All right, the last one is our wiper. So I got it opened up to the wipers here. There is our wiper. Now this one has that lip on the inside, acting sort of like another seal there. All right, so I'm looking at the cross section, the cross profile. So it looks like that is going to be an HW wiper ring. So we're going to go to that, 255. And there it is right there. It's in a quarter. All right, you got, let's see. B designates four carbon, N designates nitrile. Okay, HD designates high temp. All right, that's going to be it. That's the one we want right there, inch and a quarter by by one and five eighths and 212 on the width. I measured the groove being at 217, so we know that's gonna be right, right there. So HW at 1250, and we'll go ahead and uh, look at our next one. It's gonna be inch and a half, so inch and a half by one and seven eighths. All right, there's our next one right there, HW 1500. All right, we need to, we need to find our O-rings for the gland area right here. So what we have, it's going to be the same thing as your piston. All right, you have a you have a three inch. That's going to be a nominal three inch OD, and then this one's going to be a two and a half. Measure your cross section. Now this is squished, so we're getting around two hundred twenty thousandths on that one. This one should be the same thing. All right. Well, it's a little bit less there, but it's the same cross section. If you look in your o-ring section right here you have a cross section of 210 that's the standard size so they're numbered they start with zero one two three four so i go zero one two three so that is going to be a three series o-ring all right so we're gonna go to three series which is a dash 300 and so i'm looking for an od We'll start with two and a half. There's, there it is right there. All right, that's the three, 330 O-ring. Two and one eight by two and one half by three sixteenths. All right. Yep, all right. And it's, this is measuring big because that's gonna be your compression right there for your O-ring. All right, so there's a quick crash course on measuring the o-ring and then we'll go to the uh, what did we say I don't forgot now three inch so then I'm gonna find three inch right there yeah okay OD three inch so it's a 334 so we got a 330 and a 334 o-ring all right we made quick work of messing up the workbench right there so I've got all the the seals that I need in a bag right here. And uh, the book I used was my Hercules book. That's where I order from. 
and I'm going to go ahead and get an order placed for all these seals and start getting all the, the parts cleaned up. And I'll bring you guys back whenever we uh, do the install. We'll put all the new seals back in and make sure it's all cleaned up, and then we'll put the cylinders back together. Got my parts list right there, and we are ready to go.